Good afternoon, everyone, and whoever stayed here for another talk. <laughs> My name is Nadia Tach, and I'm glad to introduce our next speaker, Linda West. She's going to talk about the lessons from our angels of choice, is choice. The lesson from our angels is choice. Each of you is connected to the most powerful energy in the universe. Most do not understand what that means or how to connect with the angelic energy around you. So join Linda as she connects the dots for you to make that connection. Linda West, MA, psychic medium, author, speaker, holds a master's degree in metaphysics and is an angel communicator. She is the author of the acclaimed book called Eight Keys, a special delivery message from the angels. And is a radio host, radio host of Empowered Life with Linda West on Thursdays, 11 a.m. Pacific time on Blog Talk Radio. She's a CEO of Love My Youth Incorporated, which is a line of youthing products. And her website is lindawest-medium.com. So give me a round of applause for Linda West. It sounds so official, doesn't it, when, it's, when it comes out that way? Uh, do I look like a CEO? Uh, actually, um, there's two, the, the CEO consists of the CEO and the secretary. There's two of us, so it's not as impressive as it seems. However, today, it's all about the angels. My job is to help you be able to connect. What most people don't realize is that we have more power at our fingertips than, than anybody is willing to tell us. If everybody in this room was empowered, um, things would change all around you, in your life, in your relative's life. But instead, we allow ourselves to remain ego-led which says, I can't do it, I can't have it, it's not for me, there's no help, no, I'm not psychic. So the point that I want to bring to you is that it's not only easy to connect with this universal energy that is the most powerful energy out there, that is the energy that holds the planets in place, this is the energy you have access to. This is the energy that flows through you. This is the life force energy. Once you decide to leave the planet and you're gone, that life force energy goes back to source. Your physical body goes off and you know turns into a couple of trees and, you're, and then you prepare for the next life. But what I want you to leave with today is that you can manifest and create anything you want in your life because you and you and you and you and you all have an entourage around you of angels. They're all standing around going, what do we do? What do we do? What should we create? Because you're standing around going, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And I'd like to tell you, in order to get that entourage on the move, making things for you, creating for you, you got to start figuring out what you want. And when I tell you to start figuring out what you want, I don't want you to, what was I just talking about with you? Don't figure out what you think you can have, right? Figure out what you really want. What is your heart's desire? I did a reading on a lady today. She goes, I just want to live near the beach. And it's like, they want you to live near the beach. Your heart's desire is your direct connection to source. Remember now in past lives, I'm sure you all do, remember in past lives when it was all about doing God's will. Oh, we got to do God's will. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. But it's not that way in this frequency, in this energy. Now God and the angels are looking at you and going, well, what do you want? What do you want? 
What is your joy? Whatever your joy is, is what the universe wants to create for you. That is your direct connection to source. Do you realize that? I want to own my own business. Why not? I want to live at the beach. I want to work from home and travel occasionally and, and do what I love to do. That's mine. Do you think I knew that 25 years ago? Yeah. Did I manifest it? Yes. Was the path paved with gold? Once I let go of ego, it was. I happen to live at the highest frequency available. Not because I'm better than you, but because that's where I chose to be. I no longer live in fear. I no longer live with uh, a, a issue of self-esteem where, oh, I can't have what I want. Everybody else gets what they want, except for me. You all know what I'm talking about. You look out there and think, wow, it would really be nice to have this or be able to go there. All I really want is to find the love of my life. And everybody that shows up in your life just doesn't fit with you. And you keep thinking there's something wrong with you. You keep thinking, you keep thinking that you can't have what you want. That's not true. The sadness of this, the unfortunateness of this, is that a word, unfortunateness of this? is that we are not taught. We are not taught from the time we are born that we can manifest and have anything we want. That's a shame. You can manifest and create in your life. It's supposed to be that way. Love, joy, peace is supposed to be your life. Think about that. Do you have a life of love, joy, peace? Does everything you ask for show up in your life? Do you work at a job that you absolutely love? Are you having fun? When was the last time you had a good belly laugh? All these things are supposed to be the way we live. And we don't live that way because we don't think we deserve it because society teaches us through the ego that you're supposed to work hard and do God's will and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, working hard's a good thing. But it doesn't have to be a struggle. It doesn't have to be painful. None of that has to happen. We need to see ourselves as the spiritual beings in a physical body. You are a spiritual being in a physical body. You came into a physical body to experience life on earth so that God could know himself, herself. Isn't that kind of cool? Isn't that kind of cool? You're a spiritual person, which means you have access to whatever it is you need. And you know how hard it is to manifest something? It's, it's this, okay, angels, I need money. Handle that, will you? Then I go outside, watch the morning sun, have a cup of coffee, and within an hour or two, somebody calls to get a reading. And then somebody else calls and wants to buy a book. And are, are you understanding? It's supposed to be simple and easy. What you want is your heart's desire, is your connection to source, and the angels are always there to create it for you. So, the assignment, your mission, I know you're all really anxious for that, your mission, should you decide to accept it, is to make a list. Whether it's in your head, some people like to write stuff down, I don't like to write stuff down, I don't even know how my book got published because I hate to write. But you know, I'll take, as I, as I told you, it's like, I know the angels wrote the book, but I will take credit for showing up because it actually did get published. But if you like to write things down, make a list of what you really want. What kind of job do you really want? What kind of partner do you really want? Where do you want to live? How do you want to see your life? Because I guarantee you, as soon as you do that, your foundation is going to crack, and the, unit, and the angels are going to go, yes, 
we're gonna celebrate. Ooh, this one back here, what's your name, dear, with the black hair? Yes. Anna. Anna? Anna wants, we need to get on this now. Look at this, she's ready to go. And they start creating it for you. The only reason that it wouldn't get created is if you let your ego get in the way. Anybody can put together a business. I had my own business for quite a long time. I want to own my own business. I know what I want to do with it. Anybody can do that. That's not the hard part. Because we got the enthusiasm when we get going on it. It's the day, the day, day to day working with it uh, when you don't exactly see the amount of money coming in or you don't exactly see this. And then your faith goes into the dumpster. And then you find out that the business doesn't work. Well, what happened? You allowed your ego to take over. Have you noticed how much ego is amplified out there? It's in our politics. It's in our religion. It is being taught to our children. If you want to make changes in your life, if you want to have love, joy, peace, prosperity, health in your life, you need to come through your heart center. You need to have empathy. You need to have love. And that means for yourself. You are a spiritual being in a physical body with an entourage, hello, behind you, willing to create your path so that you can have what you want. <clears throat> I am here every six months. I fly in from Arizona, and I'm manifesting a Cadillac Escalade. Just want you all to know that. And I'm putting it out there today because my other goddess mobile, my Denali, is over 10 years old. And I went to get out of the car the other day as I was driving to the airport, and the handle came off on the driver's side. It's like, this is what I'm going to tell them. And a year from now, when I have my Escalade, because the goddess has to have a goddess mobile, right? That I manifested it. Whatever you choose to have in your life, you can have. We have help. Now, I don't know how much time I have. You keep track of me because I can talk all that. So I just want to share with you. My husband has a man that works for him who has a girlfriend who got cancer. She's in her late 40s when she uh, got cancer. They cured the cancer, you know, of course, with the chemo by killing her, slowly. And she's, for the last six years, she's been making her way back. For the last six years, she's been going to the um, physicians. We live in the mountains. It's a four-hour drive to anywhere, and they go back and forth like twice a month. And they are constantly giving her drugs, and they are constantly giving her um, chemicals and things like that. She blew up, she's like 5'2", blew up to like 250 pounds. She's in constant pain. She was strong enough to manifest getting rid of the cancer, but hasn't been strong enough or knew, didn't know how to become a real person after that, to be able to heal after that, to bring her body back after that. So for six years, she's been suffering with this and they're experimental drugs on her because they don't know what they're doing either. And I, I twice in that six years, I gave him my card, have her call me. She finally called me a couple months ago she had blown up to 250 pounds. She was sick and tired of the pain. And I walked her through. I stayed on the phone with her for three hours, and we went through the spiritual, the mental, the physical, um, emotional, of what she's been through and what you need to do, how you need to eat, how you need to manifest, how you need to create, how you need to understand who you are and the power that you have, the superpower you have, is your direct connection to source. I told her how to release the pain because I have a process that was given to me to get rid of the fear, to get rid of the depression, to get rid of the low self-esteem. 
And I taught her that process of how, how to release the pain. Within the first 30 days, she lost like 27 pounds. She contacted me and said, I just want you to know, I did what you told me to do in the pain, and the pain went away. And it hadn't come back. There was more pain, because it's literally a recreation of the body. But it's not about, I gave her a path, but what you have to understand is that she's in her power. She's in her power. I gave her a way to do it. She took the ball and she said, okay, now I know what to do. I can do this. Instead of going to a doctor, instead of going to a minister, instead of going to somebody else where you hand over your power and you hope they can take care of you, you have got that power. You have got the angels that are helping you. You can have the job. You can have the partnership. You can have the Escalade. You ought to see the leather in there. <laughs> you can have it all. And as of now, like two months later, actually it was about six weeks, she lost 37 pounds. She's shrinking. She's finding herself. It's not perfect. She's been going through this for a long, long time. But it was perfect enough. It is so much better. She suggested her daughter talk to me, and another friend of hers talked to me. They haven't come around yet. I am. When they're ready. And that's what she said. She said, I had to be ready. When are you going to be ready? When are you going to be ready to claim who you are? When are you going to be ready to be the god or goddess in your own life? When are you going to have the courage to say, angels, this is what I want. I want to live my life healthy. What do I need to do? And what will happen? Opportunities will come to you. Ideas will come to you. I could be on Amazon, because that's where I buy all my stuff. I happen to live in an extremely remote area, four hours from any place. It's so fun to drive the Escalade up and down those mountains. <laughs> and I'll see something on Amazon and it'll go, oh, I need to get it. I am 64 years old. What? Thank you. I am 64 years old. I haven't been to a doctor in 30 years. And do you know why? Because I said, I don't ever want to go to a doctor again. If I need to know something, you guys tell me. That, it didn't take courage for me, but I know because of the programming that we have on this planet, I tell people I don't carry insurance. I'm eligible for Medicare next year. <laughs> I thought I could use the uh, Social Security to get the payment on the SLA. <laughs> there, somebody, that, somebody got it. <laughs> I don't trust them. I'm not saying that's what you should do. But when I tell people I have no insurance, their heads literally blow off their shoulders. My father-in-law, who's just gets it, just turns, literally, he goes like this. He just turns into it. <laughs> do you know why I can do that? Because I know I am watched over and protected. I am no different from you. The only thing is, I know. I know that I'm going to get what I need. I know that I am going to be strong and healthy. I am willing. I am willing to put the effort forth. I am willing to take the extra step. I am willing to eat organic and pay a little more money for it because I know it will keep me healthy. What are you willing to do for you? Do you see why you need to love yourself? You have to love yourself in order for the universe to be able to help you because when you love yourself, then there you're going to be able to receive. Didn't we just talk about this? I've been talking about receiving all day long. I have mastered the art of receiving. And along with that then, I have mastered the art of doing nothing. I know how to be. 
it is, a, it is the way we're supposed to enjoy life. Not just going through and working every single day, but seeing, seeing the colors change on the trees. There are no colors in the trees you hear yet. <laughs> Do you know that it was the manifestation of how many, how many vendors in there that took away the rain that today? Can you, it was a 100% chance, and before I came into this room, I looked at it, it was, it was like a 100% chance for all day that it was just going to rain and pour, and all of a sudden now it's like 20%. And tomorrow's supposed to be sunny. That's the power we have. That's our superpower to be able to manifest and see things. We're just not taught that. And it seems really far-fetched. And no, you know, I know it's hard for anybody to think never going to the doctor again. How could that be possible? Creating my own business, how could I possibly? anything. You're not tapping into your superpower, which is if, if God's your, your dude of choice or goddess is your uh, person of choice, it's not even an entity. It's an energy of love that flows through us to create whatever you want because the actual place we're supposed to be in is love, joy, peace. That's our actual spiritual gifts. And that's the way you're supposed to live life. We're not taught that. We're taught it's a struggle. You're taught you don't deserve. Blah, 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 blah. And it worked. Kept the masses down, didn't it? But it has all of you and all of those people seeking something more. You're seeking something more. Because each and every one of you said, there must be more to life than this. I'm missing something. And that's what you're missing. Self-love and your connection to the most powerful energy in the universe. It is that simple. Is that not cool or what? What time is it? five minutes. Okay. So I do have a book, and I do have business cards, and I'm happy to give them to you. I am. I'm here all day tomorrow. I have a class tomorrow night. It is $20 for two hours. I never do a class for $20, but I'm going to do a class tomorrow night for 20 bucks. A person. I encourage you to come, because I'm going to go into details of how to connect and how to make that energy work more in your life. It'll be a powerful class, and of course, it won't be raining. <laughs> because we're going to manifest the sun <laughs> Sounds good, right? I also will be in three weeks, those of you, anybody familiar with Miracles of Joy? Louisville, Texas. Yes. I'm going to be there in three weeks. And I will be doing classes. We, we're running a special on three. I'm having three classes. They're not in... Um, they just increase in intensity. <laughs> and it includes a, a reading, their special pricing, blah, blah, blah. I just show up. <laughs> so I'm going to show up in the classes and I'm going to. This is all about, and if anybody tells you anything different, it's not about you coming to me so I can heal you. This is about me telling you how to be empowered so that you can go out and be powerful. My job, when I first started on this metaphysical journey, was to empower you, empower the individual. I want you to look in the mirror and go, yeah, I got this. I am connected to the most powerful energy in the universe, and that angel lady said I could have anything I want. <laughs> and you can ask my husband, I am always right. <laughs> okay, if you want a card as, you, as we go out, or I'll be standing here because I actually remembered business cards. I also do phone readings from my house in the middle of the uh, forest, National Forest in Arizona. I don't want, you may want to visualize me looking this good. However, I will actually be in my Ugg boots, my sweats, and my robe, and with bed hat. 
But, you know, you'll never see that part. <laughs> and when I see you in the spring or next fall, I will have this. Okay, thank you very much.